Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your uh, boy, Boo Boy Kennels. I have a little uh, quick uh, tutorial tip here on how to share an external USB drive. Now, I have two drives here. Uh, both both of these are actually uh, Western Digital drives. The uh, first one is is labeled as My Book, and the second one is labeled as My Book Two. Now, the one thing you want to note is that my book is uh, formatted as a FAT32, and the my book 2 is a Mac, Mac OS uh, journal or extended. I believe it's extended. But just to make sure, uh, come over here. Okay, uh, yes, my book two is formatted as Mac OS Extended, and the first my book is formatted as FAT32. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is because if you want to be able to share the external USB drives, it, it has to be formatted Mac OS Extended. And the reason for that is, is because if you have the external drive connected to one Mac, as in my situation, but I want to share it with other users within my home network, the FAT32 system won't allow you to do that. Even though it will connect to one particular Mac, it won't allow you to share it. And that's where the Mac OS extended part comes in. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to open up Disk Utility and if you haven't done so already uh, select the drive that that you wanna format in my case it will be uh, in my book 2 and we'll select erase and in the volume format you wanna select Mac OS extended uh, the journal you don't need and case sensitive uh, you really don't need, especially the case sensitive part. Just select Mac OS Extended. Once you have it selected, click Erase. It'll run through its little ch -ch -ch -ch, and it'll finish its process. All right. Um, once you have that that done, and you and you have it formatted, you'll be able to access it through. Uh, your shared accounts. So what I'm going to do just to show you for demonstration purposes, um, I'm already logged in through a, a uh, through screen share on my uh, my daughter's iMac here, and the the way I have mine set up is by by user account. So I only want to allow certain users, not like everyone or guests, you know, just Particular users that I want to allow to uh, share this drive with. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on my uh, shared systems here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect as. And I'll just, uh, I'll be connecting as myself to, to the uh, main iMac. Alright, and now as you can see, you know, just zoom in. You'll be able to see the uh, folders that I have shared uh, for myself on the home network. Um, you see the my book too, but you don't see the my book. So as I said, the my book is on on well, both of these are on the uh, main system here, but the my book is only. Uh, FAT32 formatted, whereas the My Book 2 is Mac OS journaled. Well, I mean Mac OS extended. So that is why when I share it on the home network here, you don't see both, you just see one. So now I can go into the My Book 2 and I can just, you know, grab these files, drop files, share files, add files, depending on what permissions, you know, I, I give the, uh, particular user. So I mean that's that's definitely a very 
very good way to be able to share your ex ex uh, external USB drives. Now, as I say, both of these are both um, Western Digital drives. Not that the brand makes any difference, but those just happen to be the two external drives that I'm using. Also, when you're sharing these drives, uh, let me just go back here and uh, disconnect out of the uh, network. Also, when you're sharing these drives, uh, you want to make sure that uh, within the uh, system preferences, uh, you go into uh, you go into sharing. So you know, definitely go system preferences, sharing, enable that, and then make sure you enable file sharing. Now, I have it set for just for uh, certain certain users, but you know you can just share it for the whole network or particular users if you so uh, you so wish to do so. So again, I mean, that's you know that is uh, how to share an external drive within your home network. Uh, this was uh, greatly doing part two, uh, Mr. Bit, with his help because I actually had to question myself on how to do this, and I was going to go about it a much harder way using uh, terminal. So much thanks to Mr. Bit on this very useful tip here. So again, if you have any questions, uh, any comments, video responses, uh, be sure to uh, post those up. If you have a better way of doing it, uh, maybe uh, more for being able to share it on both Mac and Windows, then I you know, definitely share that, that tip because as I said, to be able to share it this way, it's only going to allow you to share it with other Macs. Because it, it doesn't, it won't read the FAT32 system across the home network. So, again, this is Boo Boy Kennels, and thank you all for watching.